I tell everybody everything. The one thing people don't know is I tell everybody everything. All the time. Well, maybe people do know that because I keep telling them everything. I already, I've already repeated myself. I start repeating myself to people who I've met for two days. Like, I'll have an acquaintance going like, what are you doing in this place? It's just like you're just hanging around with a bunch of psychopaths. And, uh, and, and that's like, well, there's normal people. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I don't, I don't fully know myself yet. Yeah, there was put out a lot of negative energy into the world and then people don't come up to you. An abstract part of my life. I'm just like, why are you screaming? I mean, you could literally just stand there and be like, what is happening? Right now? <laughs> I did this audition. I was going to quit acting, and um, because I never got any jobs, so I, I, I guess it's not really quitting when you're not getting jobs. That's just surrendering to fate. <laughs> it, it, it all works. You know, if someone looked at you weird, if you kind, of, if you're very aggressive towards someone who thinks that they're just like to recognize you, people do not continue. They don't pursue it. <laughs> <laughs> However, however traumatic this, the, char the scenes the characters go through, I mean, I'm like, oh, <laughs> nice day. <laughs> there is such a thing as the sweet snow of success. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I guess I, I, I think there's more of a smell of failure than a smell, than a smell of success. And it's really obvious to everyone. Uh, I don't know, I kind of was going back to a hotel every day, <laughs> so, but, but yeah. I, I think that's, I think I have that in common, I mean I'm always either completely fine or devastated by, by things, and so uh, that's, uh, yeah, I guess one of the things I share with it. What do you do when you have a day off? Generally nothing, I just kind of hang around. <laughs> Really boring. Wait, how's it going, man? Pretty good. How you doing? Well, right? I guess. No. You know, you know, you know, you know, I can't understand how people how people are okay with with uh, tweeting stuff. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's just kind of. I probably regret everything that I put on it. That, I mean, I mean, the thing is, I, I I don't really do anything in my life at all. <laughs> it's overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm only just starting to starting to realise what was happening. Yeah, <laughs> That's sort of like, so you're kind of in a bubble the entire time and working a lot as well. And this is the first. Uh, I mean, I guess the last year. And I haven't really shot a movie for a year, so I've actually had kind of some time to really reflect. And he suddenly started thinking, like, what have I been doing for four years? <laughs> this is completely crazy. Were you talking? I would say put a baby in every scene. So you can put a dog in a scene, everyone's going to be better. Like, guaranteed. Like, and if they're not better, just shoot the dog. <laughs> if pressed, you could probably come up with two or three things about them, maybe. Yeah. Half the time I don't even remember people's names. Right. Like when I've known them for weeks. I know everything about you. <laughs> I don't really know. It's funny. I get like, someone puts a camera and I'm just like, I just have absolutely no control over my mouth. Okay. It's very strange. So many, there's so many guys. So many, you know. Because have you met, I start being too self depreciating, but it sounds like I'm like like a manic depressive. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you know, I just thought there's so many guys who've been looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one word that could sum this entire experience up? One. Just, just one. Insane. Now, you know, when I grew up, it was Star Wars. When the kids are growing up, now it's Twilight. Mm -hmm. 20 years from now, would you be Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker, I mean, would you be Harrison Ford? Would you still be... Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> would you still be Edward? Singing the entire song with me, and they just had their middle fingers up the entire way through. And I literally sitting in the front row. <laughs> it, it was amazing, it's one of the best days of my life. Wow! <laughs> I just like doing things where you have a little time to think about what you're saying first. Mm. I've always had a problem kind of actually thinking before I open my mouth, which is it's being, kind of, yeah, it's, being it's, spontaneous. Yeah, being spontaneous or just thinking. Thinking, I'm probably oh. thinking. <laughs> Just thinking, period. Thinking in real time. I think. <laughs> wow, that's a change. Page of the script. It's, it had it said it's and the audio is in mono. 
And I was like, what does that even matter? <laughs> <laughs> I used a scraper, but I used a scraper, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to do anything, ever. You can use a scraper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's wanna... taking care of you, man? I don't know. Bro, I him. I always found his light. He was my least talent. Wherever you Benny, Benny started pulling off people's um, windscreen wipers and stuff. <laughs> and we were like, it's very real to be actually, I mean, we're actually committing crimes. We're six joy in desperation to be funny. Oh, no, and, really? and it's famous, I guess. Um, I'm always really worried about like, ruining their lives. <laughs> you immediately get like, all that stuff hacked into on the internet and everything like that. I mean, just staying employed in one form or another is enough for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I got very low expectations. You're really doing pretty well. <laughs> I think I'm maybe just like sort of bullshitting about it <laughs> more, which is probably why I thought I wanted to get into politics. Um, oh god, they got a dog. So I always say about people who do method acting. You only ever see people doing the method when they're playing an asshole. <laughs> inch of it, like the, kind of, the possibility of being pretentious and I was like grabbing it so hard and just going around being the biggest douchebag. <laughs> like, like... So I was about to say sorry. <laughs> these these Q and A's and things. Uh, people just keep screaming the whole time. So hopefully people will just scream the whole way through the movie and, and like they won't even they won't even notice. About him or yeah, I mean, it's like an insecurity. I mean, it's. I think that's a fairly typical trait of young guys. Who you mean he's insecure? Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, that's basically what guilt is. I'm sort of. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like... Uh, you just, just straight into it now. <laughs> All right, no, see you later. <laughs> yeah, we're right now. I need to practice for it for at least about 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but the contact lenses, because after a while, if you don't blink, it just kind of freezes your eyeball open. <laughs> you can't really see it anymore, anyway. How is your In reality, how ever am I going to live up to this? Is there a certain amount of pressure on you for that? I have a problem being earnest as well in reality. I mean, I could never, I, I would end up doing something which. Everyone should be like, oh god, I'm going to be serious for like one second. Why but you my idea for the first tape, I, I had, uh, I, I, I made, I put a forelock, one little forelock down. I thought that was enough. Let's <laughs> <laughs> book vampire. Yeah. Just no, right. First one was in Oregon, and then it's kind of gone to Vancouver mainly, and then the last one we did in Louisiana. In Louisiana, good yeah. for you, yeah. So all right, you know, where, where do you live? Where's home for you? I don't really know. I guess it was Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana mainly. <laughs> wow! Is there something? Do you? The only way we could convince you because you're so jet lagged. Like, you just got on the plane. I just got in the car and there's already a camera crew. Okay, so we're going to go to these houses. I really like wedding crashes. <laughs> it's not really a wedding movie. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not a wedding movie. It's. it's... I mean, I've kind of, I've, I've done quite a few weirdos in a row now, so I, I think I have to, I have to do, I have to do some normies for a bit. For it, and now I say it. Yeah, we never had perm as a show <laughs> in the entire time. Is there a loophole? If you do something in a movie, does that make it legal? <laughs> <laughs> um, 